Hey guys, it's H4, aka Beardnor himself, your chin strap candy, your mutt chop mercenary, and your facial hair of destiny, la, 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 and all that stuff, and I'm bringing to you some very, very good blitz classes for you guys to use, and I'm going to start out by showing you the K7 submachine gun. This is my go-to blitz class, I use it with rapid fire and the red dot, and uh, I use the blue reticle because the blue red dot is a little more clear for me than the red one, uh, I like it a little bit better. But uh, what you're going to use with this gun is the C4 sandwich. That's going to be helping you clear guys off flag. Sometimes, sometimes guys sit on the flag to try and keep you from capping it. And you need to blow them out of there. There's always one guy who's right near the flag. And this is your way to get him out. And the smoke grenade is great for misdirection. It's great for... Uh, deceiving the enemy, throwing smoke uh, somewhere you're not going, or throwing it directly where you're going is uh, also a viable technique. Uh, the smoke grenades are very useful in Blitz. The perks that I'm using here, I'm using Ready Up with Agility and uh, the Marathon perk. Those are to get you to the flag quicker. That Steady Aim perk, that's for close quarters engagements, which you're going to be running into tons of. You need to hit fire these guys and get them out of your face real quick. Don't give them time to aim, nothing. Just burn through them, and that Dead Silence is going to mean that you can sneak by defenders who are facing the opposite direction. Direction. They will not hear you coming, and uh, now that the Dead Silence has had a buff, this is going to be extra useful to you guys, and uh, you're going to see that people, you literally are going to walk right behind people. Don't even kill them, just cap. <laughs> so this is a very good class. This is my go-to class for Blitz. I, I happen to like this one the most just because it's... Uh, very quick and dirty, but the uh, support streaks that you want to run with this are the uh, ballistic vest that's going to help buy you time so that you don't die while you're running out there to uh, get to the flag. The support squad mate, he's going to be a guy you call in for a distraction when you're close to that flag, and the oracle is obviously going to tell you where defenders are as you get closer to that flag. A good variant to this, if there's lots of people camping right on the flag and you can't burn through all of them with a submachine gun, is the Bulldog with uh, extended mags and muzzle brake. That is going to be your boomstick of choice. Uh, the reason I'm using this is if they're all sitting right on the flag in a clusterfuck, there's a little circle jerk in there, then you need to use this to burn through them because you're not going to be able to do that with a submachine gun uh, unless you're using maybe the vector uh, with uh, some rapid fire. That, that's the only thing I can think of in submachine guns that'll burn through those guys quick enough. So use this with relatively the same class but forego that... Uh, Dead silence for the sleight of hand because you're going to be reloading this thing a lot. And uh, this is just to burn through guys who are all clustered up on that zone. And that's going to help you get through a lot of stuff. Uh, same same streak, same everything. It's just uh, very useful if that's the case in the map that you're dealing with with the team that you're facing. Another variant of this is also for longer range maps. Sometimes on Warhawk, uh, this is a very useful one because although Warhawk seems like a close quarter map, it's really not. There's a lot of long sight, sight lines and the K7 and the Bulldog are not going to help you on that. So the Honey Badger keeps you off the map same way with the Suppressor built in and you want to use relatively the same class. Use it with extended mags and grip if you're not using sleight of hand because that'll come in handy with the uh, extra bullets you'll be able to have on that. But uh, the big thing that you can do with this class is uh, you can sub out some of the perks if you want to. Uh, you could uh, you could swap that to extended mags for a tracker sight. I do that sometimes. Sometimes guys are a little camped in corners and stuff on the blitz flag, so sometimes you like to see them before you get there. But the perks thing here, you want to be able to sub out that uh, steady aim. That's the variable perk because you don't necessarily need it on a honey badger. Likely you're going to be aiming at people as you go through those long lines of sight. Uh, what you can do with that steady aim perk is you could sub it out for you know maybe like an amplify so you can hear people you could sub it out for maybe uh you know ping or icu uh those those are good perks that you could put on in its place uh maybe a hard line if you want to run some streaks uh but generally speaking uh that you, you could keep a steady aim on if you're comfortable with that and uh, that's my variant class to that so getting into the gameplay here the uh, game plan I have for you guys is a game of blitz on strike zone and I'm using that second variant of the class except I'm not running smoke on this one I'm running an extra perk probably uh, resilience so uh, I can drop down on the flag like that and uh, this game is gonna be a very fast one it's uh, my whole philosophy on Blitz is uh, very much about patterns. It's very much about lines of sight and lines of routes in which the defenders are not covering properly. You can get a feel for them off the first couple when you bum rush the uh, the flag and, and make sure you throw that C4. See, I got a hit marker there, but it, sometimes you can clear it out. And so, uh, but it's not going to be successful every time. Do not worry about your KD in this game mode if you are rushing. 
if you're rushing, that your whole purpose is just to get those flags at any cost, uh, at any means necessary. So uh, just burn through these guys. Sometimes you can even ignore defenders. In that case, that guy had a line of sight on me pretty well. But uh, you're going to see in this game, uh, once I get a, a vibe for where they're at and what their pattern is, then I'm going to start capping like crazy. And uh, that's when things are going to get real interesting. So here, uh, obviously, me and one other guy are running the caps, and that guy almost killed me. Went for the knife, and he probably should have just shot me. But, um, you know, once I figured out their routes, uh, it's going to be easy to burn through one or two of the guys on the way, and then I'm going to be able to jump on that flag. Now, another technique you can use when you're doing assault is uh, to stack up, right? Now, usually what we run is a four back, two on the front, right? So two guys running and four guys camping on the, the flag. And that way, it's very, very difficult for them to cap, and that's how you get that 16-0 and 0, uh, achievement, that uh, that takedown uh, achievement, and I got that uh, little patch already. I've uh, actually done that twice now uh, with two different groups, and so... To get that 16 and 0, you definitely have to run the four back or even five back and run one guy or two guys running. Two guys running is best because one distracts, one jumps in, and that's uh, usually the best method we find. Now there is a, a split variant of that and a, uh, an, an extremely ver aggressive variant of that. The 3-3 is the balanced one. That's when you have uh, so you're confident in your defenders and you want to really burn those flags a little bit quicker, but you don't want to risk it too much. The so one that guy can run swing back and forth. And then there is the f full frontal, four ahead, and two back. And uh, that is going to be a very aggressive one where what you want to do is you want to set up a guy or two at the enemy flag, camping that flag, killing any of the guys who respawn and come back and try and take you out. And when you do that, it means one guy can run in, one guy run in, and one guy takes a shift and sits there. And that's how you do it, uh, those really quick speed runs of Blitz, you know, that you see on uh, YouTube. There's a couple of, couple of them out there, some really fast games, because I think the fastest game you can get is, is about uh, 3, 336, somewhere in that ballpark minutes. I, think some, I saw one that was like 336. That was a really fast one. They were like stacking the flag, so every time that counter ran down, there was someone on it ready to take it again. So uh, they did a really good speed run. But uh, my team tends to win blitz all the time, and I just got killed just shy of it there. I don't get as many caps as uh, I, I did in the first round. I finished the first round pretty strong, but I'm going to finish out this game with nine captures, which is a lot for Blitz, and uh, and I'm doing pretty well with the shotgun as well because these guys, it's a tighter map, and I, and I want to burn them off these objectives before I get there, and I didn't even see that guy push with me. But um, when you guys are running this, uh, definitely get two guys. I'm going to cover another episode where I'm going to cover just the defense side of it, and hopefully... Uh, Hopefully I have a gameplay from Slider. He's usually running defense. Uh, I'll, I'll see if he recorded uh, a gameplay. He just got his Elgato, and hopefully he'll be able to, you know, chip in some gameplays here and there for the channel. But um, he may be able to show you the defense side of it. Uh, him and Rel. Uh, Rel's in this game. Uh, Slider's not. But uh, Rel is another guy who runs uh, defense and sits back with the LMGs and, and, and really camps those objectives and makes sure no one pushes through. And you need that. You need that if you want to win Blitz successfully on a given day because uh, without it you won't be able to get into those uh, capture zones and you won't uh, be able to rely on the fact that nobody's going to be capping your flag uh, and and that's very hard for getting the win and we want to get wins because the clan wars is where we play blitz mainly i rarely play blitz solo although if you can still do well if your team's half decent then they, they listen i usually try to get all like four or five of them to sit on the uh, flag while i go cap things but uh uh, you know, it doesn't always work. People don't always listen, right? So, I hope these classes work out for you. You're going to see here that uh, I'm at uh, eight caps now, and or nine caps now, so I'm done capping in the game. They kind of figure me out, but they don't figure out my team, and that's the good part here, is you want your team to be just as unpredictable as you are, and if you are able to you know make them focus on you oh my god this guy's got nine caps he's, he's burning through us all and he seems to be getting it look at like a double kill on dogs what that doesn't happen if, if, if this was thunder you'd be like is this a fake video is this a fake video thunder this is a fake video no it's <laughs> dogs usually kick my ass and usually you could hit them with a sniper rifle c4 rockets anything and they still live and i got double kill what okay so uh, we're getting to the end here and uh, we finished this game up pretty strong 
uh, and I'm I've got my streaks. I probably should have changed classes to one of the others, maybe the K7 or the Honey Badger. I probably could have pushed in another cap and got the 10. Uh, highest captures I've ever gotten blitz is 12, I, I believe, 12 or 13. I did some craziness, and uh, you know I was the main main guy running out. But uh, we win this game pretty handily, 16 and 9. Uh, a couple guys did get in because, uh, as you know, Strike Zone's a little clusterfucky, and there's lots of little weird ways that people can get in, especially on the other side there with the trucks. But uh, you can see that uh, uh, Steve, uh, St. Brown 28 and St. Brown 27, their brothers, they uh, they seem to held down the flag pretty well, and I and I hope that helps you guys on your adventures in Blitz. But check out my last video. I uh, talked about how we won the fucking Platinum Division Clan War in Antarctica. That's great. And check out uh, how you can join the clan. That's very useful. And make sure that you apply if you are interested. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay beerly, my friends. Cheers.